spooky. Not okay. What's up, everyone, and welcome to Sunday with Ola 65. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a great Sunday morning. Even though I think a lot of you people are probably not watching this on a Sunday morning, you're probably watching this later in the Sunday or in a Monday. That's my little guess right there. I hope you guys are doing okay. Hello. We have a lot of things to talk about today. You know, there's actually news that I can report, so I don't have to talk about Vince Neil this week. That I'm extremely proud about. How about that? <laughs> we have a lot to cover, so let's just start quick. Maybe you guys have seen this. Check this out. I've been using this in a couple of my videos. What is this? People have been asking. What is that thing on the headstock there, Ola? It says solar on it. Look at that. There's no light here. What? What is that thing on the headstock there, Ola? Well, look at that. That, my friends, right there is something that we're calling the chug damper. Now, it doesn't necessarily dampen the chugs, thank god, because that would be heresy, but maybe I should stop throwing away my guitar picks uh, in the intro so I can actually play uh, and showcase what I, what I want to showcase. A pretty common uh, problem with guitars that have a fixed bridge and an open nut like this is that sometimes they have a little bit of ring happening over the headstock. Okay, I'm gonna try and demonstrate. But you hear that small little ring after the uh, mute there? <laughs> actually, I think this is a terrible example. It's actually not ringing that much. Let me uh, get another guitar, I think. Hang on. All right, so as an example, check this out. This is my custom shop Fender Strat. Let's do this. You hear that thing after the note? <laughs> And with the help of the chunk damper, that ring is gone. How about that? Now, this is definitely not a new product. People have been buying hairbands and socks and putting on their headstock. There's also, where's the, there's also this group gear has something similar as well. It's not something new, but now there's a solar one. And we will ship out these with every guitar that get purchased, uh, a solar guitar get purchased uh, through our website from today until the rest of the year. So you will get one of these if you purchase a solar guitar. It's just an extra little bonusy bonus thing. How about that? Also, another thing you can do is that, you know, if you're riffing out, but you don't want these higher strings to make noise. Now I have to find another pick again because I keep on throwing the guitar picks around. If you just want to rock out with your cock out, you know, a lot of punk guys are like... Uh, uh. Uh, uh. They play like that, you know, and then you have the chug damper here, which basically That's the sound you get right there because it's dampening Hey, yeah, yeah, I said hey What's going on? There you go, chug damper All right, enough talk about solar guitars. Now, let's talk about me. Have you seen this t-shirt I'm wearing right here? Well, that's me now, there's a small little reason why I'm wearing this t-shirt. It's because I've printed this t-shirt in our new t-shirt printer that we have in the other room. I'll see if I can film it a little bit and put us a little b-roll right here. But yes, from upon today, we're also doing our own merch. And the plan is to start printing Solar Guitars merch here. And we can ship it out to people out there. I know a lot of people have been asking for Solar Guitars merch, but also Ola England merch. Right now we're doing it through Teespring, which is okay. But I want to, you know, I want to be faster with making designs and wear shit. 
uh, check this out for instance this is the one we're gonna have available for you to buy immediately this is the Sunday with Ola uh, crest right there I mean the quality of this print is amazing and we're gonna be able to uh, print these right now on demand so you can go to my website and order one of these and we're gonna start up slow so we get used to the operations here and uh, I'm not gonna put this one up maybe only for members because this consumes all the color <laughs> of the printer right there from upon today you can get merch from the oldlyenglandshop.com I'll put a link in the description you can get your own t-shirt how about that and then we're gonna open up for solar guitars and all of that as well so uh, there'll be merch for Christmas and if you order a t-shirt from the website have a little uh, patience with, uh, with us uh, it might take a little bit longer to get the t-shirts because we're still learning you know it's a learning curve and uh, but eventually we'll f***ing beast it okay how about that okay that's enough talking about me I'm gonna see if I can get my dog <laughs> well, a very typical behavior for a bull terrier, let's just say that. All right, uh, where were we? <laughs> the news, everyone. Hello. I've seen uh, some people complain that Pix is uh, interrupting my videos You're wrong, okay? I'm just saying She is elevating my videos, okay? And I love my dog, maybe you can see that So, uh, sorry, if you don't like my dog then f*** off, seriously <laughs> So, in the news We finally have some updates regarding the Final Fantasy Fender Stratocaster Final Fantasy XIV, you know, they made a Stratocaster that's available in-game and now we can see more of it. Look at this. Oh shit. Look at that. Oh, beautiful man. Beautiful uh, imaginary man from Final Fantasy. Look at that a little purple right there. And then you have the blue on the other side. Uh, beautiful man, imaginary man again. Pretty fing slick if I say so myself. I've said that I need this guitar. Let's see if I can get. I think they're sold out. <laughs> so that's the problem right there just as the Evangelion Fender uh, Telecaster uh, this one was sold out pretty quickly uh, because there's so many weebs out there I haven't played Final Fantasy online uh, but uh, maybe I st should start yeah, it would be nice to get like a review guitar or something like that I can review, it would be cool it would go very well together with the Evangelion uh, Telecaster Evangelion, oh. another piece of Fender news is that Fender buys Presonus now if you're unfamiliar with Presonus, it's a brand that uh, makes two things or they actually make a lot of things but mainly uh, known for audio interfaces and Studio One, which is a DAW that I've actually used it's quite good, I must say I've been using it myself for mastering purposes back in the day could definitely be a contender to my favorite which is Logic, obviously uh, anyways, Fender has acquired Presonus what will this mean? well I think this is a very very good decision for Fender obviously Fender are trying to take over the world with uh, you know Fender Play and they're trying to merge different you know products into uh, stuff <laughs> no but I think it makes a lot of sense I think that Fender are probably working on something where you can incorporate an interface with a guitar or like a guitar cable or something like that together with Fender Play I know that Fender has been really good with it, uh, letting their brands that they own do their own thing you have Jackson and, and Charvel and then you also have EVH and they go under the Fender flag but let them do their own thing so I think Fender will do a great job of letting Presonus do what they're doing the best and maybe we're gonna see a bunch of new products where it's more incorporated into a guitar maybe that's a little guess right there maybe I should actually read what it says in the article and the, <laughs> the pointers that they're making but I basically think that they are uh, future-proofing the brand with this at least you know they're, they're broadening their horizons in regards to the music industry which is good so there you go piece of news 
Okay, another really, really good piece of news is that Porcupine Tree has released a new single. Hello! How long has it been since we heard a new Porcupine Tree? It's been a while, right? And it's been pretty quiet. And just like right here, it's pretty quiet because it's not loading the video. It's probably... It. Okay, there it is. Listen to that bass, man. Okay, let me go... Can I go back to like... Okay, 144p. My favorite resolution. Listen to that bass, man. And... Lo and behold, it sounds like Porcupine Tree and Steven Wilson. So that's good. Now what, uh, Porcupine Tree is a band I've been listening a lot to back in the mid-2000s uh, with In Absentia and... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Fear of a... Uh, Fear of a... Face or something like that, I don't remember. But excellent albums, uh, seen them live a couple times, are amazeball. Steven Wilson, in my opinion, is a genius when it comes to the music. Maybe not as much when it comes to uh, Twitter uh, posts. <laughs> but I think his music is absolutely incredible. It's definitely like next level. I'm really, really looking forward uh, of listening to this album. I think this song, the single right here, sounds great. I'm uh, excited. Let's just say that. Last but not least, the Hello effect is a new project containing old and flames members. I haven't heard any music yet. Maybe they will come up with a single this week. It's just the Strandblad on guitar, Mikael Stanne of Dark Tranquility handling the vocals. I mean, Mikael Stanne was the uh, the original in Flames singer. Remember that? No? People are speculating that this will sound more like in Flames back in the day. You know, Horacle or like Colony, stuff like that. I definitely don't mind, but is this really what we're gonna have? Or is this gonna be something completely different? I have no idea. I think they will probably go a more modernized route, in my opinion. That's what I think will happen with this band. I don't think they will go for the hardcore old style in Flames. I might be wrong about this. I think they might be aiming to get big. I think it's a more modernized version of in Flames or... or I I don't know, I'm, I'm just speculating right here, okay? And maybe this coming week there will be a video and I have to make an extra segment to put in here where I listen to the song and then I say, oh, I was completely right, oh, I was completely wrong. We just have to see. But it's a piece of news, man. How about that? Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Olaf's Adventure. I'm here at the office, early morning, it's 6.45 a.m. and uh, my plan is to sit down and practice some drums this morning. I have my shorts on. Don't you worry about my cricket legs, they're gonna be massive in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so I managed to hook everything up to my PC and uh, tune track Superior Drummer 3. So I'm using the Superior Drummer 3 kit right here, which is the new Duality set from uh, Top Floor Studios and TuneTrack. So I'm trying that out for a little bit. Today, I thought I would start practice some uh, paradiddles. Apparently, that's the shit. I have no idea. Let's just... Let's just do it, man. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the height of my stool right here. So I get a good... good angle towards the, uh, the kick pedals. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to get as much information as possible from people I know. And then uh, let's just go from there. But let's just start with paradiddles today, okay? For you guitar players and bass players out there uh, that have no idea what a paradiddle is, it's a technique of sticks. Oh, look at that. But basically it means one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. Paradiddle, paradiddle. So that's what we're doing right here, okay? 102 BPM. Okay, I have to go slower. Another good thing with using an E-Kit and Superior Drummer is that I can set a velocity so I don't have to hit as hard to get the desired cool f***ing snare sound from the uh, su su from Superior Drummer right there. So... The key, I guess, is to get the bounce. I think if I'm lifting the other stick, it's actually a little bit easier. Check this out. 
So. It's like I'm starting the next paradiddle, so. Dude, it's not easy. It's not as easy as you would imagine. But let's turn up the BPM. 100 and uh, what? 35? Okay, let's not do 135. 112. Sounds like ass. <laughs> Okay, I had a buffer size at 480, which sucks ass, okay? 48 samples, okay, that's way better, holy shit. Maybe it'll be easier now. Right now we're at five milliseconds instead, so let's try that. Okay, it's a lot easier now because of the latency, or, or you know, a lack of latency. I feel right now. <laughs> all right, all this practicing, I think I'm ready for a song. God damn it. Let's do it. How is it possible I hit both my finger and my leg at the same time? Look, that's a stick right there. It's f***ing dangerous to play drums, man. Let's just say that. It's a lot of fun. It's not as easy as one would imagine. And, uh, you know, you need two brain halves, I think, for a lot of these paradiddles and shit. And I don't have that, so I need to bring back my, my second, you know, second brain. I'll post more progress, obviously, as I'm uh, practicing more and more. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Sunday with all our riff challenge 65. How about that? The intro drums that you heard there in the beginning, you can download those, make your own riff to that, upload to YouTube. Maybe I'll check you out in the upcoming Sunday with Ola. We're gonna check out some contributions from last week's Sunday with Ola, last last week's, but I'm also gonna do a live stream where I check out more contributions. We're gonna check out a couple here on Sunday with Ola. That live stream will probably happen this coming week. I just have to figure out when, okay? But we're starting right now with uh, Domicidal Covers, my favorite, man. This is the Dimebag King. I see that Randall hiding behind there. Yeah, man. That's how you do it, man. I like it. That's a nice warrior right there, but you know, you should have taken the dime bag guitar. Just saying, you have a very, very beautiful dime bag guitar. I'd like to see. There it is. Well done, Demisidal Covers. He's an excellent guy, by the way. All right, Happy Sun. Ooh. Nice. Everyone's channeling their inner Swedish death metal. Let's just say that. <laughs> Ooh. This could be like Arch Enemy, man. Or like uh, In Flames, actually. Very In Flames. That was Happy Sun. Well the f done. That was great. Then we have a recent, recent ad. Okay, let's check it out. He has a Strandberg. That's a Pernelta guitar. Oh, and a solo guitar. <laughs> oh, he's using all the guitars. Oh, shit. I think he's playing four guitars. Damn. With an ABBA t shirt on. What a pro. Very different from the previous uh, guys. Not necessarily something you would hear someone play on an eight string. Let's just say that. Oh, he's dueling the solos with an Ola Strandberg guitar and an Ola England solo guitar. That's pretty fucking cool. That's like Inception or something. I don't know. <laughs>
Well done. That was recent ad 2345. Well done. Also, go right now to my second Old England 2 channel. That's where I'm going to live stream where I check out more contributions. Probably tomorrow, Monday. Okay? Well done. All right, recommend me good shit. Spotify playlist. It's where I find new music. You recommend me good shit. And uh, that's great. I'm just going to hit shuffle and see what happens. The crawling. It's a story of solitude and terror. But it has a moral too. It hints at the dangers of intellectual pride. It shows how a man's Shepherd's pie. can be overthrown. The crawling. Okay. Let's Google it. United Kingdom. Oh, Northern Ireland. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Very gloomy, man. Who hurt you, man? Who hurt you? All right, all right, all right. I dig this. I dig this. I see it's Andy who uploaded this. Is this his band, maybe? I think it might be. That, my friends, was the crawling. Let's shuffle. Oh, that's the button. Massive assault. Yes. Death and roll, baby. Stuff like this makes me really, really happy. It throws me back to old and tomb and, you know, dismember and stuff like that. So they actually have a death metal band in the Netherlands. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. Holy shit. That is massive assault, everyone. I like that. Holy shit. Next. Oh, we had that before. Okay. Bloody false. Soul Ripper. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Bloody false band. Finland. Yes. Oh, it's Marco's band. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was great when I heard it the first time. Holy shit. Marco's a member. <laughs> Let's just say that. That was a great interest, man. I really like that. Things, man. Why are they too good? Do we deserve them? Just continue making great music, let's just say that. That is Bloody Fall, Soul Ripper right there. Recommend me good shit. It's only open for my members, okay? So if you remember, go to Discord and whatever. <laughs> if you want to check out some of these bands that I've been listening right here, I'll put a link to the Spotify playlist in the description of this video. Look at this hand. Careful. I might shoot you. Okay, thank you so much. That was it for Sunday with Ola 65, right? 65? Shit, have I done 65 already? Holy shit. Remember, you can grab some merch from the OlaEnglandShop.com. You can also buy some other merch as well. I've been signing a f tons of uh, 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 Metal Morning bundles this past week as well. So this week has been really, really busy where we have this new bundle. I have to sign a lot of f***ing albums. That it, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Do not complain. Do not complain about me complaining that I've been signing a lot of albums. That's a good thing uh, that I've been signing a lot of albums. But I've been signing a lot of albums and uh, with the Metal Morning bundle. And then we also have this uh, beautiful t-shirt. Maybe I'll put this up on there as well. I have no idea. It's, it's, it's going to be hectic, man. But, you know, I like the hustle. I like the hustle. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I'll see you next video, I guess. Goodbye. <laughs>